Now this is disturbing. New evidence that millennials have it worse than any generation in 50 years, at least when it comes to jobs. Today's millennials are the best educated generation in history, so you would think they would have all the good jobs and make plenty of money. But in reality, they're not making any more money than people were 50 years ago. Joining us, a panel of millennials from around the country in Chicago, Brian Jackson Green, in Michigan, Hannah Grandy, and here in Washington, Mishi Iliazzi. Mishi, first to you. Do you think things are tougher from your generation than the generation above you? Well, I think there's no doubt. Uh, the last unemployment report that just came out last week shows that youth unemployment is at 20.7%. That is three times more. That's more than three times the national average right now. So there's no question that youth today are having a tough time in this economy, finding jobs, and, and we're seeing it every day. Um, and, and also with Obamacare, it's a big problem because they're not working, so they can't get health care, and they can't afford it either because they don't have the jobs. Hannah, what's the biggest disappointment that the generation ahead of you has done in terms, in your mind, that makes it difficult for your generation? I mean, have, you know, have we spent too much money? Have we run the country into debt? What's, give, what's giving you the, the biggest heartache, your generation? I think it's the general atmosphere um, of the political view of business. I feel like there's no respect for how business people operate. It's like politicians don't even relate to how um, people in the free market or people in the private sector operate. Right. What about uh, you? I mean, have we cheated? Has, uh, has the older generation cheated you in some way, made it particularly difficult for the millennial generation? Well, yes. I think many of uh, us millennials feel that the Obama administration's policies have, have failed us. Um, so one instance is how uh, more millennials than any other generation have attended college, but we're doing a lot worse than our parents are, and that's because, uh, in one part, college education has been oversold. The idea is presented to you that if you go to college and get a diploma, there'll be a job waiting for you once you get out, and we're finding out that's just not true. Misha, you know, um, tomorrow is, believe it or not, is the National Youth Enrollment Day on, on healthcare.gov. It's also uh, beginning, there'll be two and a half days beginning tomorrow when the, the website will be done for, down for service. What do you think? Yeah, I think a lot of promises have been made about the Obamacare rollout, and a lot of these promises have been broken. So they're very good at breaking but promises. But you don't see the absurdity of, of the National Youth Enrollment Day? They want the youth and then they shut it down for two and a half days? I think we can see the absurdity every time we see something new about Obamacare. This rollout continues to be a disaster. And this is just another example. We want youth to sign up, but the site's going to be down. We want youth to sign up, but we're going to let them be on their insurance until they're 26. These are competing narratives here, and it's adding to more chaos with the program. Hannah, how about celebrities? When they're going out uh, telling you to, to sign up for Obamacare, your generation, millennials. Uh, the celebrities are they persuasive? Does that make a difference to your age group? Uh, they definitely don't make a difference to my perception of Obamacare. I don't take their endorsements very seriously. I mean, why should I trust someone who can afford to pay cash for elective surgery on a regular basis on what affordable health care looks like? Brian, is there any celebrity who could get on the television or do an ad that you would that say, go out and buy Obamacare that you'd stop and listen to? Anyone at all? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's, it's really kind of condescending for the administration to think they can, you know, put out Lady Gaga and that will somehow just flock to Obamacare. What we really care about is, you know, how it affects our bottom line. Like, does Obamacare make it more difficult for us to find jobs? Uh, how much will the health insurance that we have to pay for now take out of our, out of our uh, paycheck every week? That's what we really care about. Celebrities are just, you know, window dressing. Panel, thanks to all of you, and I hope you come back. There's a lot to talk about in the many years to come. Thank you. Thank you.